If you are struggling to write a research article, essay, thesis, blog or other such content or if you find it difficult to draw an outline for a research article or manage your citations and references and want to improve your writing experience, then this video is for you. In this video, I will explain how you can use an AI powered tool that will make your academic writing much easier. You will learn about all its features like drawing an outline, writing scientific content, do literature search, get citations, auto write using AI feature, chat with the research article, paraphrase the text and create library of articles. Due to these many features, over 3 million users are using it for their academic writing. Watch this video till the end to learn how you can harness the full potential of this tool through its various features and why so many people are using it. So let's begin. The AI power tool I was talking about is Jenny. This is how its homepage looks like. To start using this tool, you need to sign up or log in to your account. I am just logging in using my credentials. You can personalize your writing experience by selecting your level. When you create a new document, this type of dialog box will pop up where you can write your prompt about what you want the tool to write for you. For example, you can ask it to write a blog, an email, a review or a research paper. I have asked it to write a research paper on the effect of consuming vitamin B12 on brain development. You can see it has generated a title. I will also tell you how you can generate an outline later in the video, so don't skip. If you have no clue about what to write, it will also provide you suggestions. If you do not like it, you can try out alternative suggestions or write on your own. With its auto write feature, Jenny will help you generate subsequent sentences based on the context of the previous text. You can do this multiple times to generate an entire paragraph using the shortcut keys mentioned here or at the bottom left corner. Thus, each sentence will appear in a proper flow. Along with the text, it will also provide in-text citation for the relevant resources along with the bibliography. This ensures the text you have written is not plagiarized. Avoiding plagiarism is very important as it is unethical not to give proper credit to its original authors. And if there is substantial plagiarism, your paper will not get accepted in reputed journal. Now if you want, you can do several things with the selected text by writing here or choosing from the following. For example, you can improve the fluency, simplify the text, paraphrase it or expand it to make the text longer, translate it to another language, write opposing and supporting arguments. For instance, I want to elaborate this section, so I will choose make longer option. You can see here it has expanded the selection. You can replace the existing text or insert it after the selected text or rewrite if you do not like the suggestion. At instances, you may want to get more supporting information, especially when you are writing a discussion. You can use AI commands to get this done. If you do not like the arguments, you can also ask it to provide alternatives. Sometimes, when you write a text by your own or have used an AI-generated text, you may invite unintentional plagiarism because someone else might have previously published it. To avoid this, you can use the side feature of this tool. Just select the text and click on cite. It will provide a list of relevant papers that you can cite. You can read the referred paper to choose the most suitable citation or click directly on the add citation. You can paraphrase the text if you do not like the language and to avoid potential similarity with the existing literature. If you want to generate a summary of entire document or a portion of it, you can use the summarize feature of it. The better way to start a research article is by having an outline first. Ideally, this option should be provided by Jenny while creating a document, but it was not there. So I will show you how you can generate an outline using AI chat option. I always recommend using AI tools only for assistance purpose. In academic writing, the sole responsibility are of authors and not AI tools. You can see it has started generating an introduction. Role of B12 in developing brain. Consequences recommendation and conclusion. You can add or remove several headings like methods used, your results, fine tune the outline based on the type of article or review or a blog. You can copy this in the editor, modify or edit it as per your requirements. You should always add human value to your manuscript, use your creativity and reasoning rather than just relying on AI tools. As we saw earlier, we can do several things with the selected text. I am selecting a particular heading and want Jenny to write a paragraph on it. 
Similarly, you can use autocomplete feature to keep on writing as per relevance. AI chat is quite helpful in answering your queries referring to research article uploaded or from the web. For example, I want to know if vitamin B12 consumption is associated with Parkinson's disease. It says there is no direct evidence for this. However, in the later sentences you can read, it mentions there are several studies which show impact of B12 on disease progression, not its prevention. Good thing is that the answers are backed up by the scientific literature. You can try out what other things you can do with this chat feature. Another useful feature of Jenny is that you can create library of research articles by directly uploading the PDFs or by importing bibliography file in a specified format. Let's see how to import library directly from popular reference manager like Zotero. Just select all the papers you want to export, then click on export in bib format. You can also export the bibliography file from Google Scholar or Mendeley. Detailed tutorials about these tools are already uploaded in case you want to use these reference managers. The links are given in the description below. Now let's import this bibliography file in Jenny's library. All these articles with or without PDF will be added to the Jenny's library which you can use to cite while you write. Now you can directly cite relevant papers from your library in your editor. If the PDF of a research article is uploaded in your library, you can chat with it to get summaries or answers to specific questions. Once the paper is loaded, you can chat with it. For example, I want to know how vitamin B12 was analyzed in this paper. You have to try a specific prompt to get suitable response. Using these horizontal lines, you can directly jump onto the specific headings. And once you have finished writing, you can export the document along with the references in different formats. However, I find a few limitations of Jenny. I could not find features like importing images, tables and equations to the document. I think this should be improved. Although you can do that later upon exporting the document in Word or other such formats. So overall, Jenny is a useful academic tool that can assist you in writing research articles, theses, essays, blogs and emails. It can help you in creating an outline, auto-write the paragraphs, paraphrase the text and elaborate it. Chat with the papers and web sources to get answers to your queries, create and manage libraries of articles for citing them. With these many features, I think you should try at least a free plan to get a feel of it. But if you want to experience its full potential, then you should upgrade to premium where you won't have any word limit, plus you will get some additional features. You can save a lot if you opt for an annual plan. You will get additional 20% discount if you use my referral link and discount code given in the description below. If you find this video useful, do not forget to share it with others. Do check out my playlist on research and publishing and AI tools. It will immensely help you in your research journey. There you will find videos on how to choose a research topic, do literature search, find and download research papers, write research articles and reviews, manage your references, use AI tools and lot more. And if you have any suggestions and queries, do mention it in the comment. I usually respond to them. Thanks and stay connected for more such videos.